Hello everyone, welcome back to Epiphone Lab and this tutorial is for uh, Laravel, view, uh, Laravel view pagination and I have been getting lots of requests about pagination and um, yeah, this is one of the posts uh, from Adrian who has asked for pagination in Laravel so I thought I would go ahead and make a pagination and if you guys play face in a problem and have any suggestion uh, please let me know, I will try to help as much as possible and Yep, there is a, a presentation in Laravel view and it's really really simple, cute and easy, okay? And there's one more quick uh, uh, way to do the presentations um, out of the box, let's say I will tell you when to use that and we'll try to implement later on in some of the video if it requires, but I will explain all those too. And before I go ahead and as you guys know, I have just uh, launched my small website and if you have not downloaded this um, free HTML templates then you can go ahead and download your templates okay so let's go ahead and start uh, right away so this is the blog page and in our admin panel so I am doing it in our blog uh, in our blog so uh, I had to come back to the admin panel and then I'm making a uh, presentation in admin panel because um, I have been using the budgets in the admin panel not in the front end so um, in front end, I will use a very simplest way of doing the presentation for commenting. Okay, so I and other than that, I had done presentation uh, using pure Laravel. But if I had to use Vue.js in the um, front end, then I will use presentation only for the commenting. But this will not be normal one, two, three presentation. It will be load more presentation um, with some uh, keyword. Presentation is also a little bit expensive query to make so because it needs to calculate how much to tell, what is the current, and does a lot of works in the background. So yeah, I will try to avoid it in the commenting. Okay, now let's go ahead and check it out how you can do that. So for presentation, as you know, all the UR library has the presentation widgets um, or component they have already built. So all you just need to do is copy these things and that's all you need to do. Perfect, right? So what I'm going to do is that I will be going to um, alter my design a little bit. So let's go ahead and just uh, add the presentation in here. So you can see the design is now available right here. So the presentation is already here. Okay, that's nice. Now we need to retrieve the presentation. Okay, so you can see I am writing it this one here. So since I will be, uh, I will need to retrieve the information once you click um, on here. So that I need to uh, re return the blocks data again. So I should reuse uh, this um, blocks of code. Okay. So now let's go ahead and try to uh, write a method actually. So let's write async. Now this way view get. So this is a view get. And the method name should be like, let's say a method is uh, get blog data. Okay. And let's make the default page equal one. If we do not pass the page, that's uh, perfect. And now, here, what I can do is I can exactly call this route. So just copy paste all these things and upload it here. And I think I have a bracket missing here. Okay, that's super cool. All I just need to do is. Uh, run this method from here that's perfect now what should be should we do is that uh, we should actually uh, pause it so what I will be doing is that I will call what is the page okay so page equal default page and we need to pass how many uh, should be returned as per page so I will make another variable let's say it is total okay and let's say I would like to have a total of uh, one per page maybe so that's okay now in my controller here uh, what I have to do is that um, in my controller here you know you I have it so let's uh, change this request to uh, request instance and here you go we need to retrieve request by um, how much 
the total okay and we just need to do the pagination here just go paginate that's all it does okay and that's super fine now it will return one per page let's see if it works by default right now so we have that nothing but a simple okay so it's not showing up that's i uh, mean it's working total is not defined yeah total might not be defined because i have not used this so it's not defined now it should be defined now and let's see let's check it out okay current page is one and i had got uh, 81 so the pagination is working perfect right so what we have to do is that now you know the x the block data lives inside data variable so what i have to do is that data dot data okay so this works and now this dot let's make page page info or paginate info whatever you call it rest of data because we need all this information except this data but let's keep this data um, there as well we don't care so let's make um, page info as now for the time being and here instead of here this one we can say if paginate info is available we can say total maybe we can say total equal maybe I just can say page info sorry I can say here page info per page so I can take per page information but per page will always be one so let's use this one page uh, page info the total and what I would really have to pass here let's check it out current so we have to pass the current information so page info we should have a current here as well so yeah current page nice now what else we do have remaining let's check it out page size maybe this one okay let's check it out with this thing this configuration now It seems we're getting an error. Now let's check it out. What is the error we are getting? It's here. Uh, what is this error about? Okay, so we have one that's not actually been used. So it's good now. Mm, okay, it's showing up here, but we don't have a one. Let's use page size equal page info dot. What will we need to put there? Page info dot total. Okay, now let's check. or maybe the size I think I used it in the wrong place. This should be the total. And It's maybe, let's call it 
first one, first hint, virgin product per page. Let's check now. It's working now. So, product page has to be an integer as well. So, product page is, uh, and then we are taking total. So, we have total of uh, three, one, two, three. And here you go. Now, we need to do one more thing. Here, whenever you do some changes here, you'll click anywhere. We should be able to call this one again. So, let's go ahead and do this one as well. So, we will make a um, add on change so what we will do is just uh, call this one and it will pass the page information as well perfect right if you do a console.log of your page you will be able to see what page it is sending oh it should it should define now you see page is 279 77 okay it should be 81 79 77 81 77 so you guys have seen how to do the pagination so quickly so easily using laravel and vjs and if in some case you need to do a pagination that say that do not have those kind of information like one two three don't have you do not to do this pagination okay these things and just you need to let's say you have a page or let's comment comment page and you don't show this ugly pagination and you might you might show a button that says load more so how can you do uh, easily in that case okay i will show you a quick uh, uh, tips you can implement so i will just uh, give you theory right now how you can do that okay now i will refresh this page and you see i am returning just one item and it is eight to one and now you can see in, in my code, I am returning as order by ID descending. So that means the last um, last item is getting first priority. So the last item I'm getting is the first one. So in this case, you can return where uh, ID, if you say where ID is smaller than 87, and then if you say, okay, limit one. So what it will do is that you don't have to do the presentation complex presentation you just do these things okay give me one item that is less than 87 so it's a parent, sorry 81 so current ID is 81 right so if it is uh, if you just do a presentation a small kind of presentation that has an ID less than 81 so that means what is the late less than uh, 81 is 79 okay and definitely you have to do the order by ID descending okay and yep so let's keep that order by id descending so once you do order by id descending 81 then you'll get only 79 and in next load you will pass the 79 okay id 79 so it will return this one so this way you can do a quick presentation when you do a load more types of presentation not like uh, this kind of presentation because in this kind of presentation you have to know the current page next page and total amount of data available so it has to do a lot of works but in this kind of presentation you don't have to do a lot of work okay so i hope this tutorial helps you a lot and let me know if you need anything else that might be useful okay so i will basically con um, basically concentrate on my uh, revel and view enterprise level e-commerce application development tutorial careers hopefully i will start today with the um, uh, database design so yep i i'm i'm planning and preparing myself uh, with the highest amount of energy and also um, with as much you know, high level information I can give so that you guys can get benefit out of it and uh, uh, do the real work and do the real job out there okay thank you guys for watching please like subscribe and comment your below feedback and if you have fa if you face problems go ahead in our Facebook group post your comment with your uh, prepared screenshots and I we will try to help you as quickly as possible but um, it might not be easy for me to respond quickly but I will try my slay my level best. And one more thing, guys, please do not post um, unnecessary or not related to the tutorials. Please don't post anything that is not related to tutorial or 
uh, anything specific suggestion or questions. Okay, thank you. Have a nice time. Goodbye.